welcome to West Rill for the opening rounds of the 2018 Euro Formula Open Championship. This year's field sees a combination of drivers returning for a second campaign, together with a lot of promising rookies. We should be in for a fantastic season of racing. So let's see how the opening race of the year panned out. Pole sitter Felipe Drugovic led away to start the first race of the 2018 season, getting the jump on his compatriot Matteo Siorio as the pack charged down towards Turn 1 for the first time. Behind there was plenty of jostling for position but they all made it through Turn 1 cleanly. But it was the blue car around the outside of Cameron Das who challenged and was able to sneak through into third place in the early stages. Behind there was plenty of dicing and Alex Carcosi was an early victim to Benji Scal after he stood a wide at Turn 6. Petrus Bresta was another driver who was in the thick of the action for much of the race. On this occasion, losing out to Lucas Donner after a small mistake at the chicane allowed the Austrians to power through at the Parabolica. A couple of laps later, the Romanians slithered wide through the gravel trap. No harm done on this occasion except the loss of a couple of places. Fortunately, a few moments later, coming through turn two, Gerasco overcooked it and that lengthy trip through the grass pulls the Romanian into the pits and into retirement. The front of the field though, Felipe Drugovic did a masterful job of stretching the field. The Brazilian dominating proceedings from lights to flag, coming through to claim the first victory of the 2018 campaign for RP Motorsport. Carlin teammates Matteo Siorio and Cameron Das completed the podium with Bentley Scal claiming the rookie honours for Teo Martin Motorsport with a fine bit overall. I think uh, we couldn't have started better than this. Uh, just need to thank the team. The car was great in qualifying in the race. I think we had a really good pace. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't manage. At the beginning, we were quite close, uh, me and Mateos, and then towards the end, I could I could put a, a good gap, and yeah, I was just managing the, the tires and make sure everything went all right. What was the difference, you think? Why you pulled away? Uh, I think. First of all, tire management. I knew at the beginning it would be really hard to beat them because they were coming full attack and I was not. I was really careful at the beginning. So I think that was key. I was trying to, to save the tires to the end and what, that's what I did. From pole position, it was Petru Florescu who led away as the pack charged down towards the first corner. The remaining though, having to defend from Marcus Siebert as they all arrived into the damp first turn. They made it through safely, but there was plenty of jostling for position. Yannis Fitchert jumping up to third in the early stages. Aldo Fastante and Michael Benyar had a fairly frenetic fight lower down the order, as did Matteo Siorio and Guilherm Samaya. Absolutely no quarter given. Meanwhile, Felipe Djurkovic was a man on the mission. This was the superb pass to take third place away from Yannis Fitchert. Bentley Skull then slipping past the German a couple of moments later. Meanwhile, that was the mistake from Petru Frescu that just opened the door for Marcus Siebert to take the lead, having applied the pressure to the Romanian for several laps. And then, despite the best efforts of Frescu, he couldn't keep the charging Felipe Drugovic behind. The Brazilian surged the inside as they went towards the first corner. Thereafter, Frescu was also demoted by Benfi Skal, and as he got pushed wide on the extra turn two, that opened the door to Yanis Fitchia to slip through and snatch fourth place. Marcus Siebert then came under sustained pressure from Felipe Drugovic and the final two laps of the race were an absolute showdown. The Brazilian trying every which way to overhaul Siebert, but to no avail, it was Marcus Siebert who took the victory just from Felipe Drugovic with Bentley Skull completing the rostrum and also coming home as the top rookie. It was an absolutely thrilling race. <laughs> What a race. Uh, the track was a bit damp. You know, it's a bit tricky in the first lap to, to go in the good lines and more. But yeah, it's like you say, in the first lap, really nice fight with Petru. After he, he made a little mistake in corner six, he run wide, so I pass him. And after I try to, I try to push as much as I can. Uh, but in the last laps, I have 
I don't know, I make a big mis one mistake in one lap, I run a bit wide, and yeah, Drugovic catch me a bit. So yeah, the last two laps was really hard with him. Nice fight, so I'm really happy, first victory of the season. I don't have a lot of time in the car, you know, it's my third time in the car, so I'm really happy. Looks like a very open championship. Yeah, yeah, so far. Looks open, uh, we'll see, you know, it's five, four, six, seven good drivers to in, a, in this race, I mean, right? To fighting for the win, so I'm really happy to be one. Well done. Un saludo para la Argentina, rápido. Ok, thank you. Yeah. Un saludo a Argentina en español. Gracias a todos por el apoyo. Fue un verano difícil viendo en qué iba a correr, pero acá estamos, ganamos de nuevo, así que gracias.